only promote the truth. We're going in on the real Mati Yahoo, Matthew chapter two, Yahusha, the gift to the world. What were the circumstances? Let's get the real writings from the real New Testament, Brit Hadash. Let's get the real stuff. I'm so excited about this because this is fresh. This got translated today. So for all of you that are watching this live, hallelujah. For those that are watching the recording, hallelujah. Your eyes are witnessing the bread hadash, the New Testament, in its real, raw form. Uh, we're talking about unadulterated, not distorted, just straight out of the Aramaic and the Abari, the Hebrew writings, to where you can know that you know that you know that you know the truth. Now, I'm going to show this to you today here live. I'm going to actually do a screen share and share with you the real Matit Yahoo, Matthew chapter 2, straight from the true scriptures. And so we spent the last several days prepping, preparing, studying to make sure we got all of our state, all of our tools and materials straight to get right into it. So as you're coming on, Give us a big shout out. Give us your name, where you're coming in from. Y'all know how we do it. We're here in Scripture Talk, and today is Yahusha, the gift of the world. We'll be covering Matthew, Yahu, Matthew chapter 2, the real, fresh translation right out of the true Scriptures. So you'll watch this happen and come to life as we get prepared to release the new and incredible real Brit Hadash in the spring of 2024. The goal is to do it before Pasha, before the Passover, to get this into the hands of folks. Hey, Nia, in from Minnesota, Andy from Hot Springs, Arkansas. My wife Lena's in the building. Good to see everybody coming in. Let me get set up because I want to share this with you. Nia, good to see you. I want to make sure that you guys really understand what you're witnessing here. This is so cool because you're going to witness the progression of watching this come to life. Now, you'll see it coming from the Peshitta, but then we also take it, we, we know, because we know that Matiyah, who was originally written in Hebrew, but they've done everything in their power to hide these writings. But we know how to get, we've got access to these writings and how to cross-check them with the Aramaic, so it's awesome. What's going on, Kevin? Good to see you. Y'all bless. Yahuwah bless you as well. This is important. So we're just letting a few folks get on, and then I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to do a screen share. And we're going to go read the chapter the real Matit Yahoo. We're gonna we're gonna actually read Matit Yahoo. Isn't that cool? Straight from us translating today. So your eyes are gonna say, "I saw that first. So everybody is watching this now. You will have seen it first from the true scriptures. What will go out into the world? You're gonna say, "I got to see it first as it all starts to come out." So let me get lined up over here again. Just drop in now if you're here. Make sure you hit the like button. What, what, what we want to do is get the algorithm spinning. Get the algorithm letting people know something great is happening, that people need to get over here. So guess what you do? You just simply hit like. You want to smash up the like. Smash, smash, smash the like button. Another thing you want to do, you got those hearts and whatnot. You got those different emojis. Go ahead. Hit those. Go ahead. Hit those loves, those 100%. Get those spinning. Now subscribe. Put the bell on always so get the get your notifications so when we go live i'm telling y'all i'm going live as many days as i can i'm going live as many days as i can with scripture talk for the next 30 days so this next month i'm just setting a foundation a base i'm putting out a ton of content we're going to get this training out there you're going to be able to learn like you've never learned before scripturally i'm pretty confident in that, in that because we don't sway to the left or to the right we don't have any ulterior motives we literally want to bring you the truth and allow you to be able to make these great conscious decisions from seeing something that's not altered, 
Like you're gonna have confidence with the true scriptures. You're gonna have a ton of confidence. You're gonna be like, man, all right, this makes sense. This is great. All right, so let's get it going. I'm gonna go in about 60 seconds. Make sure as you come on, share your name. Where you coming in from? If you're on the replay, y'all should be commenting in the chat in the replay, making comments on the post, all that good stuff. That's all awesome. That creates a better algorithm, gets the word out there. I want to say, Baruch Haba Basham Yahuwah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah. That's the name I'm coming in. Yahusha said, what did he say to him? I come in my father's name. I come in my father's name, but you won't receive me. If another comes in another name, him you will receive. Well, guess what? Another has come in another name. Thank you, Nia. Nia contributed right here. Bless your heart. Nia contributed with $20. Again, you got all kinds of things you can do. Nia, you just brought that to the attention because a lot of people like Nia want to participate, want to know how they can get involved. We actually got Promote the Truth membership here on YouTube. We got three different levels. We got bronze. I think we got gold. I think we got diamond. It's anywhere from $4 to like $25 a month. It gets you all these different benefits. So you go over there. You can do that right at the bottom, right where Nia hit. But Nia, thank you so much. Bless you. Uh, in the name of Yahuwah, we'll make sure to credit you towards the truth scripture. So, so Lena, let's make sure to give uh, – her credit. Now, if you want to get immediate credit, you just go over to tsnt.org and you can get immediate credit, tsnt.org. I'm going to go in because we already got a bunch of people here already. So what I said earlier, for those that are just joining, we just got through translating Matit Yahoo chapter two. All right, chapter one's done. Now we're over to chapter two and now it's going to start rolling, right? And the whole goal is to get the Brit Hadash done before Passah. So when I say get it done, Get it translated, get it edited, get it reviewed, get it formatted, and then get it to the printing house and then get it out to the public. Our goal is to make that happen. So we celebrate in Passat, the Passover, the first festival of the upcoming year. Can y'all imagine if we can celebrate like that? And we got these great words. So I'm going to show you on my screen. Good to see you, Mike. I'm going to show you on my screen what we just translated today. It's a special excerpt. So anytime you hear us say special excerpt, we're going to either include the Aramaic or the Aramaic and the Abari, the Hebrew. Because I wanted to get this in the day so y'all can see it, I just have the Aramaic there. But we'll go ahead and also, for the special excerpt, before we make it available for people to download, we will add the Abari, the Hebrew, to it. Then we'll make that available. So I just want y'all to know how much I appreciate y'all, how much I love y'all. But I'm going to go in. If y'all ready for me to go in and y'all want to see the real Matit Yahoo, the real Matthew chapter two, put something in the chat. Just put, I want to see it. Put blessings, put Yahoo, put hallelujah, put something in the chat. Once I see about 10 people comment, I'm going to share my screen and you're going to be able to say, I'm the first person. I'm one of the first people to see the true scriptures, which is trademarked, by the way, the true scriptures. Real Matit Yahoo number two. Why is Matit Yahoo number two, Matthew chapter two, so important? Why is it so important? Because it then gives us the gift to the world, which is Yahusha, right? So now Yahusha comes into the world. We now get the, we actually get to hear that he is in the world in Matit Yahoo chapter two. That's why I decided to show this one today. Because I want us to really focus on what all had to happen. He got into the world and what all had to happen for him to actually stay and go ahead and fulfill his mission. And how Yahuwah will work on our behalf. Good to see you, Gwen, Stone, Andy, Mike, Keisha, Ghost Rider, Nia. What's that? Charisma. Yeah, Amber. Good to see all of you. Kevin. Yes, it's great to see you. So guess what? We got enough here. I'm going in. What's going on, Willie? Good to see you. Willie said, I want to see it. So y'all y'all going to be able to say, my eyes got to see it before anybody else's eyes. That's what you all going to be able to say. So I'm going to share it right now. We're going to read it together. Hallelujah. Praise Yahuwah. 
for his awesomeness. We're going to read it together. Give me one second. Let me get it pulled up here. Utilizing this powerful technology. Thank you, Yahuwah, for this technology. Thank you, Yahuwah, for this technology. Hallelujah, Yahuwah, for the technology. I'm so, aren't y'all so appreciative for the technology? I am. Really, really, really appreciate it. All right. We ready? We set? Let's go. Bam! There we are. There we have it. The Truth Scriptures Special Excerpt. True scripture, special excerpt. Now, I want to make sure for my wife, can you see me clear on the screen? Because my backup has got me blurry over here. So Lena, give me a message. Can y'all see it clear on the screen? Because my backup has got me a little blurry. Lena, let me know ASAP. Everybody else, if y'all see it clear on the screen, Nunya. All right, Lena says yes. All right, because man, I don't know why it's so blurry on my screen. We're going to check that out. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in. True scripture, special excerpt. Matit Yahoo Matthew with Peshitta text, Amari, Aramaic writing underneath it. Yeah. All right, Andy, here we go. Now, when Yahushua was born in Bethlehem, aka Bethlehem, of Yahud, as Judea, in the days of Herod, Herod, who y'all known of, the king, there were Magi. It's a group of what they call the wise men who came from the east to Jerusalem. That's the correct spelling of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So y'all gonna learn real how to get your Hebrew straight too in this and your Aramaic. Underneath that, you will see the Aramaic writings from the Peshitta that give you those English words there on the top. So there's no games, there's no guessing, you see. Number two. Where is the king of the Yahudim that has been born? This is what the Magi said. We saw his star in the east, and we are here to worship him. Woo! Aren't y'all getting chills already? Huh? The gift of the world, Yahusha. Now we know that the Magi is saying, where is the king of the Yahudim? that has been born. So they know he's been born. We, how they know? Yahuwah gave him a sign. We saw his star in the east and we are here to worship him. Verse three, but when Herod, the king heard about it, he, along with all of Jerusalem, were troubled. They were freaked out because you got a king of that area Saying, what do you mean there's another king that's been born? It's, it was it was starting to buzz all over the place. Hallelujah. Yeah. Here we go. Are y'all ready for this? And Herod gathered the chief priest and scribes of the people together and asked them, where would the Mashiach be born? Mashiach, that's Messiah. That's the right way to spell it so you can understand how you transliterate it over into English. Verse 5, and they said to him, in Bethlehem of Yahoo, so that's Bethlehem of Judea, because this is what was written through the prophet Micah. So we call him Micah. So that's Micah's name, real name. Here we go. Verse 6, the prophet Micah is now quoted. <clears throat> so the prophet Micah is now quoted. You, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. One second here. Yeah, you, Bethlehem. That's Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Land of Yahuda. By no means are you least among the rulers of Yahuda, because from you will come one who governs, one who will shepherd my people. Verse 7, then Herod secretly called for the Magi and found out from them exactly when the star had first appeared to them. So what's Herod trying to do? What is he trying to do? Huh? Talk to me, fam. What's Herod trying to do? What are we learning here? Jealousy, coveting. All these breaking of commandments is starting to happen to somebody else because of not upholding the commandments. One second here. 
One second. Let me let me let me check something real quick. One second. I just want to make sure my screen is set. Y'all give me one second. I'll be right back. I want to make sure my screen is set. All right, I, I got it straight over here. All right, we got it straight. Thank y'all for being patient. This is awesome. This is awesome. So now I'm going back in. How many of y'all enjoying it so far? Y'all getting to see the true scriptures that's going to come out to the world, projected, set for the spring of 2024. I'm going back in if that's all right with y'all. Because I'm telling you what, we're going to learn today. We're going to learn today. Now we're sharing again. So there we are. Let's go back to verse seven. Then Herod secretly called for the Magi. So why, what's Herod doing secretly calling, right? Because he's got some other things in mind and found out from them exactly when the star had first appeared to them. Verse eight, then he sent them to Bethlehem, Bethlehem and said, go and search for the child. When you have found him, report back to me so that I also may go and worship him. So now we know he's lying. We know he's got foulness in his heart, but you're seeing it right here. And how many of y'all can understand these words, by the way? Drop this in the chat if you really enjoy the clarity of the translation. Would y'all do me a favor? Because I need some feedback here. Because we work hard on these translations to get it dialed in because the purpose of translation is to get the people that are reading it to understand those words in their true meaning. Is this really helping y'all have a clear understanding? All right. Yeah. Now, here we go. All right. I'm checking on my feedback. There you go. Yes. Yes. I enjoy. Yes. Fire. All right, Tony. Love to you, Tony. Nia, Ghost Rider, Mike. Big love. Y'all see Nia's got that little... She's got that little uh, uh, ribbon. Mike's got the ribbon. That means that they're also members on our channel. So y'all consider that down at the bottom there, right, right by where you're doing messaging. Now here, I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Verse nine. And when they heard what the king said, they went on their way. Now check this out, family, because this says a lot to us about how Yahuwah works. They noticed the star, which they saw in the east before. And it went ahead of them. See, that's as if it's guiding them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. Woo! Woo! Can y'all imagine that? How Yahuwah works? Look at Yahuwah working. There's a purpose for these men. He's now, he, he's, now they're being sent and King Hiram has his purpose, but watch, Yahoo has got his purpose. So what other people can mean for bad, I want y'all to pay attention in your own lives, how you watch this gift of Yahusha, how he still gives us a gift through his example, even when he's a little baby, where the child was. Verse 10, and seeing the star, they were filled with great joy. Can you imagine you got the star, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. And then all of a sudden, that star stops. It stops. And you know why it's stopping. And all of a sudden, can you imagine that you're about to approach the door and you're about to walk in and you're about to witness Yahuwah in the flesh? Can you imagine that? The gift of the world, Yahusha, is Yahuwah in the flesh. It says the word, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Lua, and the word was Alua, Yahuwah. And the word became what, family? Y'all been reading certain things out of the scripture. The word became flesh. <clears throat> You'll see that when we translate. Verse 11. They entered the house and saw the young child with his mother, Marim. That's Mary's real name right there for you, fam. Marim. 
They all, what they do when they saw Yahusha, the little baby, they all fell to the ground and worshiped him. What are they doing worshiping a little baby? Huh? Why are they worshiping a little baby? Because that's Yahuwah in the flesh. Then they opened their treasure chest and they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Look what's happening, fam. Look what's happening. This is great. Let me make sure I got plenty of battery here because we don't want this to go out, do we? <laughs> this is too good. All right, we're going back in. Now, here we go. Verse 12. Pay attention how Yahuwah will look out. And because they were warned in a dream from Alua, who warned them? Yahuwah will warn you that they should not return to Harith. They went back to their own country through a different route. Yahuwah, you see, when you walk with Yahuwah, Yahuwah will talk to you and he will talk to others in mighty ways. When you belong to him, you literally will be protected in mighty ways. These men, the king had sent to locate the child, Yahusha, because the king wanted to kill him. But Yahuwah came in. There could be people that want to take you out. People that want to stab you in the back. This is unbelievable. We're going in. Get ready. Because they were warned. They went back to their own country. Verse 13. Now when they had left, a messenger of Yahuwah appeared to who? Yusuf. That's Joseph. That's how you say his name. Yusuf in a what? In a dream saying, get up and depart. Take the child and his mother and escape to Matsri. What's Matsri? That's Egypt's real name. Stay there until I tell you because Herod will soon look for the child in order to kill him. Being told what to do. During the night, Yusuf got up and took the child and his mother and they departed to Matsri. Verse 15, he would stay there until Herod died. This was to do what? To fulfill that which Yahuwah had spoken through the prophet Ayusha. That's Hosea. That's the real way you say Hosea. Through the prophet Ayusha saying, I have called my son out of Matsri out of Egypt. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't even realize the significance that Yahusha went and lived in, in, in Egypt, in Matsri for a while. Was everybody aware of that? Put that in the chat if you were paying attention to that, because I think that's significant. That think about where Yahuwah had delivered the children out of what? Matsri. I am Yahuwah who delivered you out of the house of bondage, right? Who delivered you out of Matsri, the first commandment. He then sends his son, which is himself in the flesh. He sends, it, he sends him back to the place that had held them captive before. And now that place that had held them captive, the people for 400 years, is now a place that protects the Most High. Hallelujah. Woo! Think about that. The place that had held the people in bondage for 400 years, now the Mashiach, the Messiah, the Most High, gets sent there to be protected. Won't Yahuwah do a great thing? Won't he do a great thing and turn it around? Verse 16, when Herod found out that, found out the Magi had fooled him, he became very angry. He then sent soldiers to kill all the male children that were in Bethlehem, Bethlehem and in all the surrounding areas who were two years old and younger, according to the time when he spoke to the Maggie. Can y'all believe that? Isn't that like a, now a reverse back, right? To what the power of Pharaoh had done in Matsri. Now we got Herod doing it again. Now listen, then it was fulfilled that which was spoken through the prophet Yermi Yahu, 
That's Jeremiah. See, Jeremiah, Yahu had said. The people asked him and they wonder, why would this happen? This is regarding disobedience back in the day. See, Yahu is telling them, all the prophets kept telling the people, don't be disobedient because this is going to go past down to three, four, five generations. So now we have a prophecy coming true. Now there's going to be a great persecution happen at the same time. Verse 18, a voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning. Rahal, Rachel, was weeping for her children, and she could not be comforted because they were no longer here. He had all the two-year-olds and younger of the of the Abarim, the Hebrews. He had them killed, fam. Crazy. Trying to do what? Trying to kill Yahusha. Trying to kill the Most High. He goes and kills out all these others. No telling how many. Now, verse 19, when Herod had finally died, a messenger of Yahuwah. See, now why is this important? Because in the corrupt translations, they say a messenger of the Lord. Foul, corrupt, foul, corrupt. It's Yahuwah. Look at the impact there. Who's sending these messages? The messengers of who? Yahuwah. A messenger of Yahuwah appeared in a dream to Yusa again while he was in where? Matri, Egypt, saying, it is time for you to leave. You see, when it's time for you to go, when you walk in with Yahuwah, he going to tell you. I promise every one of you listening to my voice. You get these scriptures right. You get the real word of Yahuwah in you. You're going to develop a personal deep relationship with Yahuwah. You're not going to be able to have it until you understand his instructions for you and get out of this, the distortion. I'm here to help tear down the walls, tear it down so that you get access to the power. Verse 20, it is time for you to leave and take the young child and his mother. Go to the land of Yisra because those that were trying to kill the child are dead. Yusuf, Yusuf got up and took the child and his mother and they returned to the land of Yisrael. But when Yusuf heard that Archelaus, so Archelaus was ruling over Yahu, Judea, in a place, in place of his father, Herod. So now you got Herod, Herod's son, who's now ruling in his place. So Yusuf, that impressed him because he was afraid to go there. Why? Because Herod wanted to kill Yahushua. So having been warned, but guess what? Having been warned, having been warned in a dream, he went to the area of Galil, what we hear of Galilee. Last verse, he settled in a city there called what? Nazareth. That's Nazareth. Nazareth. So that it would be fulfilled that which was spoken by the prophets, that he, Yahushua, should be called a Nazare. That's a Nazarene. He would be called a Nazare. There you have it. All of you have got a chance to see it right here, right now. You are the first to see the real translation of the scriptures, the real truth scriptures that you will be able to get in physical copy as we move from Matit Yahoo to Hazum, utilizing the same translation methods, making it clear for everybody to understand the word of Yahuwah unadulterated. So we got to witness the gift of Yahusha coming into the world. What did we learn? How did Yahuwah protect him? When Yahuwah calls a thing to be, can you stop it? No. That's why you got to walk with Yahuwah. That's why you got to know him. This is eternal life that you should know the one and only true Alua Yahuwah and his son, Yahusha HaMashiach, who he sent. So eternal life is to know him. You don't get eternal life without knowing him. You won't even have it in your heart. 
to repent, you will have it in your heart. So Nazarene, Deborah, would be a Y before the M, and that would be Nazarenes, plural. That's the Nazarene. Anytime you see that M at the end of a word from Hebrew, that takes it to the plural. Nazare is singular. That means Nazarene. Nazrim means Nazarenes. We are the Nazrim. We are the group of the followers, which means branches. That Hebrew word means branches. Yahusha says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Woo! To put an I in front of that Y, and you got it, Deborah. Don't get rid of the I. Just put a Y before the M, and then you got it. That's right. How many of y'all enjoyed the teaching today? How many of y'all enjoyed the teaching today? How many of y'all really enjoyed getting to see the real scriptures and then taking a moment to just capture the, the gift of Yahusha coming to the world? There you got it, Deborah. Perfect. How many of y'all really enjoy that? And see, what Deborah's doing is getting her language straight. Now, how many of y'all love the fact that you're going to have an index in? You'll have an index. So watch this. As a matter of fact, I'll show you a little bit of it. You want to see a little bit of the index, Deborah and family? I got over 800 words already indexed. That gives you the current English, which is the distorted version. It gives you the, it gives you the current and then it gives you the real way it should be spelled in English. And then it gives you the Abari, the Hebrew spelling. So I've got an index. I give you three rows. This index will be part of the true scriptures. So you're going to learn to clean up your tongue and your language. So let me share my screen for just a second, give y'all a peek. Can't give y'all all of it today, but I can give y'all a peek anyway, right? I think I'll give y'all a peek. There you go. You can tell this is right here at five. 56 down to 578. So look, right here, you see that first row? This is what's currently the corrupted English spelling. You got that? This is the corrupted. The second row, that's how you spell it. And the third row, which will teach you Hebrew, because all you're going to do is go from right to left, and you're going to see how it's actually spelled, and you're going to pick up the rhythm. So you go right to left, you'll pick up the rhythm. It's that simple. Hebrew is one of the easiest languages to understand once you understand the basic rules. So that gives you a, a little picture right there of the fire. And this is going to be part of the true scriptures. Yeah. How many of y'all appreciate that? How many of y'all loving that? Having access to that type of material from Promote the Truth, what we're doing here. We're working. So here's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to ask y'all to contribute to Promote Continue to get this out there. So for those of you that's already done so, man, there's so many people that stepped up, that's done a great job. By the way, we had a new platinum happen today. You can contribute now over at tsnt.org. But we had a new platinum today. Lena, do you have who the new platinum was? Because I think that's important if we can announce that. That's important if we can announce that. Mike. Is Mike? Is it Mike Fallows? Is that who it was? We had a new platinum today. And if you're in here, go ahead and give yourself an announcement. I got to get in there. If you're in here and you went platinum today, make sure you put it on there. Platinum is when you get the platinum package. So you can go over and contribute to anything. We've had people like, listen, I posted in the, in the Telegram group this morning. Y'all should go be a part of the Telegram group. If you're not part of the Telegram group, I'm putting it in the chat. Just go over to pttgram.com and it's free to join. You can do it on your on your Apple phone or your Android. Yeah. You see that? PTTgram.com. You go over there and then you'll see where somebody sent an email in from Kenya, Africa. And she said, and she basically was saying she gave three dollars and covered the processing fees that the that the platform charges. So she did a three dollars, I think 16 cents, something like that. And she said, I gave what I have. She's from Kenya, Africa. And she says, I hope to be able to give more before the project concludes between now and the, it, 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 uh, it, it concludes. Think about that. Think about that. She gave $3. That, and, that, that's, and that's why we had to put in the, 
in the Telegram group who had to put the lesson from the widow at the well when Yahushua said, you see this woman here? She's giving more than everybody because she understood the mission. So if you understand the mission, go on and do it. So if you understand the missions, it's that simple. Go over and contribute to the passion and the power because we're putting it out in its purest form. Real simple. So love, love, love having y'all here. Love sharing with you. Get over to tsnt.org and go in. Yeah. Go in. Like really go into your brain and say, am I ready to get that solid language, that solid teaching from Yahuwah that can't be misconstrued in any way where I can understand it? And your spirit's going to speak, by the way, guys. Your spirit's going to speak. Everybody here, just let your spirit speak to you. It's real simple. Test the spirits. Just test things. But the key here, when you're testing, I'm going to help you now in. You got to test with the right word. Just really, really take a deep breath tonight and go, hey, I got to realize how much corruption has happened through these translations over these years. I got to realize that. I got to be wise. I got to, I'm being warned on these things. The Greek, we, we really have no clue. And it's even though for those of us that know to get the full comprehension of what Constantine did in 321 and 325 AD. Like Constantine's creed, hardly anybody has a clue how heavy that was being the Roman ruler. That means at the pain of death. That means if you don't do what he says, it's a pretty good chance you're going to get killed. You're going to have to go through torture, see your family tortured. And so that level at the Council of Nicaea, that's right, Deborah, Deborah, that level, that level of intense persecution is what doused down the word, but it's also what dispersed the ones throughout the world. It dispersed ones throughout the world. And then we got signs of it, like over, like my family and I, you know, we got a chance to see the Los Lunas Stone which has been dated over 3,000 years. I mean, think about that. I mean, before, there's been persecution going on forever, but it got ramped up with Constantine in 325, but going back 3,000 years, those people have been getting spread out for centuries. And we got to do something about getting these incredible things that we find with Yahoo are protected. So they went out there and they defamed, or they absolutely messed up the Los Lunas stone. I'm going to come back with some more on that, by the way. Hopefully y'all appreciate this lesson. I'm wrapping up right now. Go over to tsnt.org. Be, go in your heart. Just feel what you want to do. We'd love to have you be a part of this project, and we just continue to grow. We continue to spread the word of Yahuwah. Everybody give a special praise to Yahusha coming in this world. Yahuwah became flesh. I love y'all. Everybody have a great one. Bye-bye. Only promote the truth.